Hey guys, I am the single mom versus the fixer upper and today I want to share with you how to clean your greens. Now you can clean all greens like this. Now the difference between a turnip green and a collard green, collard greens are a little bit more bitter, a little more thicker. They take longer to cook and they have thicker stems. Usually the, the stems are way thicker and way bigger. These are turnip greens. They are they cook faster and they're not as bitter as a collard green. They do have a bitterness to them, but it's a different bitterness than a collard green. These are turnips. So what I have here is just some water that I'm soaking them in and I just soak them in a cool water and then I put some vinegar in it and I just kind of do this and move them around shift them around and what I do after I do all the shifting and just letting them sit now the key to cleaning is really in your hands it's you it's how you clean them and how you do it we are not going to make this lawn and drawn out so what I do hold on let me roll these up so what I do is I literally let these soak and I kind of do like a washing machine type of effect with them and kind of get them all submerged in the water. Now, when it's time to actually peel them or destem them, whatever you want to call it, you don't have to take all the stem off. Some people do because these stems will get tender. Like this is a thin stem, so you really don't have to worry about that. But if you don't want any stem, just a little bit, you can leave it like that. And then I just take it and set it over into the other side of the seat. That's what I do. I get the thicker stems off, but we want the meat. We want to keep the meat. The meat is all of the, the, the leaves. We want to keep that. Now, this is the first step into it. So after I do this part and get the stems off that I don't want, after that, I will take these and I will rinse them again. And after that rinse, that'll be when I cut up and put them into my, um, into my pot. Now, some people might do it all at one time but i feel like it's not enough space in here it's not enough space in here for me to um really wash them like i want so when i get the stems out and remove all the meat from the stems then i can have more space to really get in there and wash them and the point of agitating them is to make sure any bugs or any dirt or anything that's within them is not on them and that it falls off into the water and you will see that in your water some people use lemon juice some people use vinegar and lemon juice some people use baking soda it's your preference long as you clean them the key is making sure you clean them because that's the most important these actually weren't as bad as i thought the water is kind of clear i don't care if they say it's triple wash clean 50 million times still clean your greens it's up to you because it's a factory and you know people get tired and after a while they may not give the same energy as they gave when they first started work if they are in the process of in the department that cleans your greens or whatever so just do it yourself make sure it's clean um, don't trust that I do that even with meats and everything I wash all meats off even my ground meat I rinse that so yeah um, my purpose is to share videos that can help in some way shape or form it's okay to share stuff and I love to share stuff you know what I got going on and all that stuff but these are the things that when people are in a pickle and they're in the buying and they need to know something they need to know it and they don't want it all long drawn out so this is basically how you clean it you take as much of the meat off as you can or the leaf the stem whatever you want to call it but that's all I'm doing is I'm taking and some people slide their hands and take it off like that or you can get it all off it is easier you take it you press it in your hand and you just pull it but then that means you'll have no stem I like stems so if I do do that method I pull what won't slide slide to a point where I do like the stem and I keep it there so that's how you do it you want to get in there keep the stem that you choose if you don't like a lot of stem take it all off like I said and that's it and then once you get that side I rinse them again and then we cut them up and put them in our water that is waiting not water but it's like a stock that is waiting um, for these collard greens my baby is coming to help me so it's gonna be her and I doing these so yeah that's how you clean your collards very simple you want to agitate them you want to rub them make sure when you get them you rub them get whatever you feel off and you can double wash or if you feel like they're clean enough you leave it there anything that looks like this I usually discard I don't keep it if it looks like this different color leaves and stuff I don't keep it so yeah just a quick tip on how to clean and you can clean all of them like this all of them can be clean mustards turnips 
and you can even clean kale like this as well if you have to use it, make a lot of it at one time in collard so just thought I'll leave that with you talk to me in the comments because I do talk back litigators